glass at my window West wind soft as a sweet dream My love warm as the sunshine Sitting here by me She's here by me She stepped out of a rainbow Golden hair shining like moon glow Warm lips soft as a soul Gypsy Boots, Laura E. Allen, and yours truly, <laughs> on our way back to L.A. from Monterey. Boy, you know, if you're talking about Monterey pop artists, though, you got to include one lady who is probably one of my favorite artists of all times, and that's Janis Joplin. I think that she took her place in the heart of a lot of American women and girls, especially, because she grew up with those two fates worse than death. She was not only unattractive, but she was unpopular. But then they say that that's how an artist can really achieve uh, such beauty and soulfulness. She didn't sing about how unhappy she was, but she sang with spirit and, and with style. And through her pain, she probably brought out all that sensitivity.
song goes way back, doesn't it, Jim? Summertime, yeah, it goes way back. And I remember the first pop hit, Sam Cooke, about 57. Is it that was right? It was the flip of You uh, Send Me. Hmm. And then in the mid to late 60s, Billy Stewart had a top uh, 20 version of it, Summertime. It's a classic. Well, you can't keep a good song down. No. Huh? This is Lori Allen along with... Jim Pewter. And we're bringing back the sounds of summer on our 4th of July weekend special. Now, coming up, some memories of Woodstock. Stay tuned. On a hot day... There's nothing like a cold one. Or two. Or three. It seems that most people think there's no limit when it comes to drinking on a boat. It's unfortunate that so many boaters think that alcohol and boating are supposed to go together. But what far too many boaters don't know is that alcohol has proven to be a factor in over one half of all boating fatalities. That's a sobering thought. For boaters, alcohol and water aren't a good mix. And bottoms up can have more than one meaning when you mix boats and booze. We just thought you should know. Before you go. Message from the United States Coast Guard and the National Safe Boating Council.
Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young doing Woodstock, a song that was written by Joni Mitchell as she sat in the audience at the Woodstock Music and Art Fair back in 1969. If you can imagine this, there were 400,000 of America's hippest gathered at a farm near Bethel, New York, to catch some of the greatest acts around. It was the biggest thing that they had had so far to that day. They saw Hendrix, the Airplane, the Dead. Uh, they saw the dead. Canned Heat, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, of course, Joe Cocker, Santana, the band. The Who was there. They made an absolutely classic, may I say, performance. Because uh, as they were performing, the yippee, if you remember that word, the yippee Abby Hoffman uh, rushed the stage to get in front of the microphone and display some propaganda. Pete Townsend, who was not in a good mood that day, grabbed him by the collar and punched him out, threw him off the stage. There was a lot of fireworks. There was a lot of excitement that day. And it has been said the solidarity of youth began in the summer of 1969. <laughs>
We just heard some memories from Woodstock, summer of uh, 69. Sly and the Family Stone, hot fun in the summertime, and we kick things off with the Eddie Cochran classic, Summertime Blues by The Who. I'm Jim Pewter, kicking back with the beautiful and talented Lori Allen. Oh. Will, will that get me in your jacuzzi? <laughs> yeah. I'll, have, I'll have two Harvey Wallbangers, please. <laughs> okay. Lori, um... Uh, Tell me about your most memorable 4th of July. Oh, if you're going to be talking to me like that, no, I, I think won't. I'm going <laughs> to... I'll tell you about my most romantic 4th of July, oh, which actually happened yeah. just a few years ago. I was over at a friend's house, who, and he, had, he told me that sometime during the night there was going to be this great big fireworks display, probably around 10 o'clock or something, in this hill in back of his house. So we had some dinner, and then uh, around 10 o'clock we got these deck chairs and climbed up to this, the top of the hill, and there was nobody else in sight. I mean, we were uh, climbing through undergrowth and trees and stuff, but we put up the, the deck chairs there in the middle of this hill, in the middle of nowhere, waiting for these fireworks display, which, you're going to guess, never happened. Oh, my gosh. But we ended up sitting there under the moonlight and the stars and, and talking until around 1 o'clock in the morning, holding hands, and mm -hmm. it was just the loveliest thing. That sounds nice. Now, my most memorable 4th of July was in Big Bear, and uh, it happened about uh, 10 years ago. We went up there with some friends and uh, to watch the fireworks, and all of a sudden we got attacked by these bats. <laughs> And it was very weird because, you know, I was trying to look at the fireworks and these bats were coming at me, you know, and... Uh, help me, help me. No, that's... <laughs> That was that was a, that was a memorable one, but not probably my best. You have the most bizarre story. I know, yeah. Well, that's... Uh, well, we're going to bring on another great memory from a summer past right now, okay? We can yeah. take you bat. Yeah. <laughs> don't drive and drink. Or is it don't drink and drive? <laughs> have a safe fourth. These are the young bloods get together. You this but a song to sing. Fierce we will die. You can make the mountains ring. Or make the angels cry. Those are the song. Yeah. 